praise and worship unto God is still a lethal weapon against the enemy of our souls. Please be reminded, as ambassadors of heaven, we have an enemy. And until God takes us from this earth or recall us back to heaven, we must use this lethal weapon of praise and worship against the enemy of our souls, else we die and be destroyed and lose hope. Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. So glad that you've joined me this morning in this time of prayer, worship and adoration, exhortation unto our God as we begin another day that the Lord has made and we are called to rejoice and be glad in it. The enemy's job is still to kill, steal, and destroy. But greater than the enemy of our soul is here. And he inhabits the praises of his people. And those who worship him in spirit and in truth, he will scatter our enemy. That's what God has promised. That what he will do. And we must believe it. And in this day that he's given to us, we must face our enemies with praise unto God. And God will scatter them. He will cause them to turn on themselves. But we got to believe God today. Would you join me in praise? Would you join me in worship and adoration unto God today? And let's watch God work. Our meditation today comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21 and 22. And it reads, Jehoshaphat encouraged the men and gave them instructions. Then he had the temple singers stand up in their special clothes to praise the Lord. They marched in front of the army and sang praises. They sang the song, Praise the Lord, because his faithful love will last forever. Hallelujah. As they begin to sing and praise God, the Lord set ambush for the armies from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come to attack Judah. The enemy was defeated. And I want to say that again. The enemy was defeated defeat it. The word of God to the people of God. Indeed, we know the story. And as the enemy of our soul today come against us, maybe pushing our backs to the war, we have a lethal weapon. And that's praise. And that's worship unto our God. So praise unto God is still a lethal weapon against the enemy of crime and criminality, abuse, hatred, evil, and sin in every and any form. And I encourage us who know the word of God to do what the word says today. I encourage us to live out the principle of the Word of God, to declare the Word of God in face of the enemy, and that results in praise and will drive us to worship, and God will scatter the enemy of our souls. Father, I thank you for the revelation of your Word and for the understanding to know the power that we have. And when we use it according to your word, you will scatter the enemy of our soul. 
and as ambassadors we have a ground to stand on we are a nation hallelujah a force indeed we represent heaven and so i pray as we live today that we will stand fast in the liberty where you have made us free we will not be entangled with the yoke of bondage but rather praise god who will the scatter the enemy of our soul and i thank you as believers everywhere grab hold of this word today and we will do your will and cause your name to be exalted in us the enemy is coming in every form and every fashion sometimes faster than we can ever imagine but you are greater greater than the enemy is here and we give you praise we exalt you we lift you up today and we cover those who lead the nations today including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families we declare the will of the lord be done in their lives those who lead in the medical profession we bring them before you today those who lead in law enforcement and education and the leaders everywhere we bring them before you today may we who lead in the body of Christ continue to lead in love and care and sharing the gospel of the kingdom of God which is the power of God unto salvation i give you thanks today that we will live holy righteous and godly in this present world today we bless you for the peace of Jerusalem we cover families everywhere today may we praise you to the god who will scatter the enemy of our souls we give you thanks in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit amen god bless you keep you make his face shine upon you be gracious unto you today lift up his countenance upon you me give us peace amen